We are tracking breaking news tonight. It is the moment millions of people across the country are waiting for. In just seconds, we'll find out the numbers for tonight's world record Powerball jackpot live. Can you believe it, America? A world record jackpot, and it's coming to you right now. Get ready. This is Powerball. Good evening, America. I'm Sam Arlen. Tonight's jackpot is approaching $1.6 billion dollars. That's billion with a B. I hope you have your tickets. Good luck. Let's play some Powerball. First number down is eight. And right after that, America, we have the number 27. Here's Peter Mello from Massachusetts. Peter won $1 million by matching all five white ball numbers. Next number down is 34. After that, we have the number four. And we're going to wind it up this evening with the number 19. All right, now for your winning Powerball number, good luck to you. It is the number 10 tonight, and that power play multiplier is two. Take one more close look at tonight's winning numbers from all of us here at the Florida Powerball Studios. Have a great night. We'll see you back here this Saturday night. Bye, everybody. All right, did you win? I don't know. I'm not trying to check yet, so let's just keep going. All right, well, there you have it the numbers for tonight's world record. And he said now up to almost $1.6 billion Powerball jackpot. Now, don't worry if you didn't have a chance to write down those numbers. Here they are again. Take a look. The winning Powerball numbers, we will have them for you throughout this newscast a couple of times. Millions of people around the country have been dreaming about what they would do with all that money. And we found people right here in Lexington buying tickets until the very last minute. Our Monique Blair joins us now live from a gas station in Hamburg with the breaking details. Monique? Well, Sam and Amber, unfortunately, I don't think I was a winner based on hearing those numbers in my ear here, but I can tell you I'm at the Shell Station in Hamburg, and people were running in here right up until 10 o'clock on the dot. That's when ticket sales ended to see, to buy their Powerball ticket. Now, right now, everyone can just sit back and check their tickets to see if they were the big winner. Anybody not on Powerball? Just hours before the cutoff time of 10 p.m. for Powerball ticket sales, a line formed at the Shell Station in Hamburg. Bought up. Lottery ticket, Powerball. You can't pass it up. What the heck? We bought one ticket. Whether they spent two dollars or a hundred dollars worth. Everyone I talked to told me they simply couldn't pass up the possibility of winning what has now become a world record breaking jackpot. Each night I hear the news and see how the money's gone up and uh, I would like to win it like anybody else would. So, of course, I had one question that many of us have been daydreaming about as we have watched this jackpot grow. What will you do if you win? Well, I'm going to get hair transplant. Uh, that way nobody recognizes me when I go in and get the money. Divvy it out some to my family, my mother and father, my sisters. Just moments ago, millions of people checked their tickets to see if their numbers matched up. Joseph Sabad told me what he would do if he was a winner. Hope I don't have a heart attack and uh, go collect right after that. As for Travis Tucker, he told me right before he buys his private jet and his island, he'd make one important phone call first. I would have to call my mom, though, too. I'd have, I love my mom. She, she'd have to know I won. Now, lottery officials say it could take several hours tonight before they know whether or not there was a winner tonight. Reporting live in Lexington, Monique Blair, WKYT. Monique, thank you. Good luck to you out there if you're checking those numbers. And if you need to see those winning numbers again, don't worry. We're going to have them for you again in about 20 minutes. And speaking of numbers, temperatures expected to be a little warmer tomorrow, but more Arctic air will not be far behind. Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey, who is still in the building, which means I guess he didn't win, has the forecast. Nope, no, nope. I'm, I'm still here, guys. So <laughs> you're, you're, you got, you're stuck with me for a little while longer. The numbers we are talking about, though, may have some folks dancing in the streets tomorrow because the readings are going up. We are warmer now than we were at the same point last night uh, on the tune of 10, 13, even 16 degrees warmer into Richmond than at the same point 24 hours ago. Those current temperatures into the upper 20s told you would kind of put the brakes on, and that's indeed what is happening. A little warmer to the south, 34 Richmond, 38 still Bowling Green, Covington reaching the highest temperature of the entire day right now at 27 degrees. Still, 
It feels colder, though, with a gusty wind. Even though it's a milder wind, technically coming from the south and southwest, adding a little chill to the air. 18 degrees, that uh, Frankfurt wind chill number. Tomorrow morning, nowhere near as cold as the single digits that we had this morning. Tomorrow afternoon, it's a milder day as temperatures reach the upper 40s. Those milder winds coming in from Thursday on that southwesterly flow. But as we get closer to the weekend, Storm system that is rolling out of the Rockies will head toward Kentucky. That will start to impact our weather as early as Friday. I'll show you why it's the system coming in behind that one, guys. That will get more of our attention as we go into Sunday and Monday. That's in 10 minutes. Four murders in Lexington in just the first 12 days of this year. And today, Lexington police address the violent start to 2016. Police Chief Mark Barner called the crimes an anomaly for the city. He said police don't think any of the murders are connected, but investigators think they all have something in common. These aren't random acts. They are acts that are associated around risk behaviors. It's announced they have five arrest warrants for the murder of 18-year-old Caleb Hallett last weekend. The warrants are for three juveniles along with 21-year-old Kenyon Hips and 18-year-old Marques Smith. Two of the juveniles are in custody. The city's latest murder happened last night. Lexington police say they found 23-year-old Timothy Brown Jr. shot multiple times in a car outside the McDonald's on Russell Cave Road. Friends say Brown leaves behind five children. Brown played basketball at Bryan Station High School before graduating in 2010. His former coach said Brown had a great personality. But he was very popular with his teammates. Uh, he, he wasn't a big talker, but when he did talk, he was like EF Hutton. Everybody wanted to listen. So far, Lexington police have not made any arrest in this case. Police charged him after his drone crashed into Commonwealth Stadium just minutes before the first UK football game of the season last September. A University of Kentucky student later took a plea deal and paid a fine for criminal trespassing. He's now speaking publicly about what happened, and he says no one in the stadium was ever in any danger. Our Garrett Weimer is at the live desk tonight with a story that's new at 11. Garrett? Peyton Wilson is studying law at UK, but he got a crash course of the legal system firsthand after his drone went down at Commonwealth Stadium. Now, he tells our sister station in Louisville, where he's from, the whole thing was a humbling experience. And his video from that drone, well, now posted to YouTube. Peyton Wilson's goal of launching a drone photography company didn't get off to a great start on that September Saturday when his drone crashed into the stadium's suite level shortly before kickoff. This is not going to be tolerated um, at the University of Kentucky in these uh, venues um, without uh, prior approval. Even while it was still in the air, university officials say Wilson's drone flew dangerously close to parachutists dropping down into the stadium and also endangered those below. Wilson says that's not true. And there's no real evidence that drones of that size or nature um, create a substantial risk of harm as the charge initially indicated. Wilson says he fully cooperated with police. Just last week, he pleaded guilty to criminal trespassing and paid a $100 fine. Referred to me as generally polite. Um, my intent was never really brought into question as far as uh, malicious intent was concerned. Wilson says a judge did not give him back his damaged drone or the iPad he used to pilot it. It was an incredibly humbling experience um, to be subjected to both uh, the criticism via the media and um, even my peers and colleagues. Um, folks really call into question the uh, utility of drones going forward. Um, however, I still um, would venture to say that drones are going to prove a very useful commodity. In case you wondered, no, the YouTube video does not show the drone crashing into Commonwealth. At the live desk, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. Also, FAA regulations ban drone flights over NCAA football stadiums like UK's before, from one hour before until one hour after a game. An eastern Kentucky man has been released from jail months after police say he caused a crash that killed a teenager. Jesse Bennett had been charged with murder, but an Owsley County grand jury indicted him on a lesser charge of second-degree manslaughter. Because of that, he was able to leave jail. Police say Bennett's car hit a motorcycle in Owsley County last June while he was under the influence. 18-year-old Taylor Lanehart, who was on that motorcycle, died. New tonight, a federal judge has ordered the state to pay the attorneys who represented Kentucky same-sex couples in a marriage case that went to the U.S. Supreme Court. 
Court legalized same-sex marriage nationwide last June. In 2014, a federal judge ruled Kentucky's gay marriage ban unconstitutional. Then Governor Steve Bashir hired outside attorneys to defend Kentucky's ban. Today, a federal judge ruled the state will have to pay more than $1 million in fees and expenses to the attorneys of the couples. A Kentucky teenager recovering from a serious brain injury five years ago will join his mother tomorrow in Frankfurt to help introduce a new bill to lawmakers. As we first told you here Monday at 6, T.J. Floyd crashed his bike five years ago and his head hit the pavement. He was not wearing a bike helmet. T.J. is learning to walk and talk again. His mother believes a bike helmet would have made a big difference in his injuries. I do believe that it would have lessened the severity of it. I can't say it would have stopped it because the location of where he hit, but I think it definitely would have lessened the severity of his injury. The Floyds and State Representative Joni Jenkins out of Louisville will talk about TJ's bill at a news conference tomorrow morning. If passed into law, it would require children under 12 years of age to wear a helmet while riding on public streets and public bike paths. It brought a middle school game in eastern Kentucky to a halt. And now some people involved in this brawl have been punished. That's in nine minutes. And then police say he should not have been seeing patients. And now a southern Kentucky doctor is facing charges. A high school principal is transferred in the middle of a school year with no explanation. WKYT's Miranda Combs searched through hundreds of emails and other documents to find out why. The principal transfer, Thursday at 6 on WKYT. Get weather plus traffic with a WKYT weather app. Have the Defender Radar Network in the palm of your hand while checking your driving conditions for your commute on the same screen. Weather plus traffic on the WKYT weather app. The Heartland Globetrotters! For 90 years, we've been turning moments like this into unforgettable memories like that. Coming to Rub Arena this Saturday at 7. Great seats at the Arena Box Office or Ticketmaster.com. No two babies are alike. And no two birthing experiences are alike. At the Women's Hospital at St. Joseph East, we believe you should have your baby your way. With a birthing plan designed around you and a level three neonatal ICU. A personalized childbirth experience isn't just good for mom. It's good for baby. Kentucky One Health, the one name in healthcare. After you're injured at work, a lot of times the insurance company will attempt to call you, take statements. Don't speak to them until you speak with an experienced workers' compensation attorney. The insurance company will attempt to settle your case for pennies on the dollar. Before you talk to the insurance company, call us first. Our job is to make sure you get all the money you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. Our cancer patients are really special people. They're determined, they're tough, and they're such wonderful people to care for. It's really great to offer patients the standard of care, but then we have trials so that we can also give them the cutting edge, where we explain to the patient this is the standard, but this might be even better. Because of the excellent work we do, we've received an outstanding award from the Commission on Cancer. I'm Dr. Hain, and we treat every one of our patients like family at Baptist Health. Arby's two for five mix and matches back and better than ever. Unless you don't get the new loaded curly fries, in which case, it's back and the same as ever. Arby's, we have the meat. Have something that needs investigating? Email us or call the WKYT Investigates tip line. Now, your hour by hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Well, temperatures are cold out there tonight, but only seasonally cold and a far cry from last night at this time. And certainly how we started out the day with readings down in the single digits. If anything, temperatures tonight will come up from south to north. We've been seeing those thermometers rise all evening long in northern Kentucky. A little look outside showing upper 20s in central and northern Kentucky, 30s. Across the southern parts of the area, Monticello over to Bowling Green, upper 30s, and that air is going to continue to lift its way to the north on a southwesterly wind that is technically adding a bit of a chill to the air. Upper 20s, low 30s in the morning, quick jump into the upper 40s. Southern Kentucky, you've got a 55 in your back pocket you're going to pull out and use at some point tomorrow afternoon. So milder 
across the south than the north. As we go into Friday, rain is going to move into town, touches some snow by late in the evening into the day on Saturday. Then we focus on Sunday. Here comes an Arctic front with some uh, gusty snows that may be blowing around and the potential to follow that up with sub-zero temperatures into the first part of next week. Potential, especially if we can get a little accumulation on Sunday. Temperatures, I think, by Monday or Tuesday shouldn't have a problem getting to zero or a little below. If not, you got to settle for single digits. Here's the system that is coming in for Friday. Out ahead of it, though, that's your Thursday. Southerly, southwesterly winds will give us very nice weather across the entire area. Good-looking sky out there tonight. A uh, little snowmaker bypassing Kentucky to the north and northeast. Brand new hour by hour forecast. 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. We are colder in the north, and those numbers continue to really ramp up. Uh, again, quite the spread from north to south should be a better than 10 degree swing. This other Kentucky likely seeing the 50s. Clouds thicken up tomorrow night. Quickly on Friday, rain overspreads the region as temperatures start to come down again during the evening. So especially middle of the day into the afternoon, we're going to see the best chance for rain across the entire area. Look what happens into the middle of the night on Friday into Saturday morning. Pick out the front here. 46 Prestonsburg, 30 showing up into Covington with a little batch of some rain and snow shower action. Everybody drops below freezing into Saturday morning, and we kind of hover into the low 30s for the better part of our Saturday with the possibility of some flurries and and some snow showers that would carry us into early Sunday morning. It is by Sunday morning we're seeing clouds increasing to our west ahead of an Arctic front that will be right on top of the region as we go into Sunday morning. By Sunday afternoon, that bad boy is zipping its way on through here with a little band of snow and then Arctic cold high pressure that comes in behind that. That may give us a little light accumulation of snow on Sunday with a bitterly cold air that will then follow that up. Look at that temperature drop, by the way. Sunday into Sunday evening. By 10 o'clock, we're dropping it toward the low and mid-teens. This model is likely going to run a few degrees too warm for those Monday lows. We may be closer to zero when you wake up on Monday. Let's enjoy our Thursday, shall we? It's uh, not all coming up. Total just ugliness over the next week. It is after tomorrow at 49 degrees in the rain on Friday. Uh, leftover snow shower to Saturday. Arctic snow Sunday. And then the ugly cold Monday and Tuesday. Well, hopefully someone around here can celebrate a big lottery win and some nice weather tomorrow. Hopefully it's a cousin. Just not us. Right? Yeah, hopefully it's a cousin. <laughs> it's a cousin. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Right. He lost the primary for governor, but former state ag commissioner James Comer now has his sight set on another office. That's in seven minutes. The flu virus hits big with aches, chills, and fever. There's no such thing as a little flu. And it needs a big solution, an antiviral. So when the flu hits, call your doctor right away and up the ante with antiviral Tamiflu. Prescription Tamiflu is an antiviral that attacks the flu virus at its source and helps stop it from spreading in the body. Tamiflu is FDA approved to treat the flu in people two weeks of age and older whose flu symptoms started within the last two days. Before taking Tamiflu, tell your doctor if you're pregnant, nursing, have serious health conditions, or take other medicines. If you develop an allergic reaction, a severe rash, or signs of unusual behavior, stop taking Tamiflu and call your doctor immediately. Children and adolescents in particular may be at an increased risk of seizures, confusion, or abnormal behavior. The most common side effects are mild to moderate nausea and vomiting. Anti-flu? Go antiviral with Tamiflu. I need to collect your phone so you can't post pictures. How does it feel to not be connected? My chest hurts. Let me show you a better way to keep connected. The 2016 oh. Chevy Cruze offers built-in 4G LTE Wi-Fi that connects up to seven devices. Current qualified GM lessees can get a sign and drive lease on this well-equipped Cruze Limited for around $179 a month. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. Jump, slide, and bounce at Lexington's premier children's entertainment center, Monkey Joe's. Enjoy our huge inflatables, toddler zone, and go bananas at the arcade. Celebrate your birthday party here, too. Party big, play great at Monkey Joe's today. Are you happy with your bathroom? I wasn't. I thought I didn't have the money until I learned about Bathfitter. Bathfitter puts a new bathtub right over your old one. Isn't that amazing? Bathfitter will measure and install right over your existing tub. And only Bathfitter has seamless walls, which guarantees a watertight fit. 
Plus, they do it all in just one day. That's my favorite part. Book a free consultation and find out for yourself. Call today or learn more at bathfitternow.com. Hi. <gasps> you need a better car. It's my credit. Don't worry, because when, when you, you need, need to make a move, move drive time approves. Were you guys always this cool? Save yourself. Get approved at drive time first. Call, click, or visit. Get the latest forecast wherever you are with the WKYT First Alert Weather Fast Cast, powered by Kentucky Lottery, only on WKYT.com. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 1045 The Cat. New tonight, some suspensions have been handed down nearly a week after a brawl broke out during a middle school basketball game in Pike County. The fight was caught on tape during the game between Belfry and Phelps Middle Schools. Today, the Pike County School Board suspended Belfry head coach Bobby Varney without pay from coaching until the end of June, but he's still, he's still being allowed to teach. Board members say he was involved in that brawl. There were some uh, comments exchanged between uh, the Belfry coaches and the referees as the game was ongoing. School leaders also say two referees, along with some fans involved in the fight, are now banned from all Pike County athletic events for the rest of the school year. Police arrested a Whitley County doctor this week because they say he was practicing medicine without a license. Williamsburg police say last fall the Kentucky Board of Medical Licensure fined Sean Hudson for the way he was keeping records and it ordered him to attend classes on appropriate boundaries. But police say Hudson didn't pay the fine or attend the classes, so his license was suspended. Police say they then received a tip that Hudson was still seeing patients. The patient uh, stated to us that on January the 8th, they were treated and examined at that particular location by a Dr. Hudson. Police charged Hudson with practicing medicine without a license. They say he could face a felony charge for every patient he saw after being suspended, which may have been up to 30 a day. New tonight, deputies are trying to track down two men they say broke into a Knox County store. It happened early this morning at B&H Shoe Store in Corbin. The Knox County Sheriff's Office says that two men who had their faces covered used a rock to break open the glass on the front door. And once inside, deputies say the men grabbed some merchandise before running off. Kentucky Senator and presidential candidate Rand Paul is still trying to be included in tomorrow night's GOP debate. Senator Paul's campaign has asked Republican Party leaders to include him in the debate. Earlier this week, debate host Fox Business Network said he would not be on the main stage because his polling numbers didn't qualify. But Senator Paul says a new poll released today shows him in fifth place in Iowa. He said he would skip an undercard debate. New tonight, former Agriculture Commissioner James Comer has made it official he is running for office again. The Republican has filed paperwork to run for Congress in Kentucky's 1st District. Another Republican, Hick, another Republican, Hickman County Attorney Jason Batts, has also filed to run for the seat. The district's current Congressman Ed Whitfield is not running for re-election. Comer narrowly lost the Republican primary for governor last May to current Governor Matt Bevin. It will be a top 10 matchup tomorrow night at the Coliseum, Rob. Second ranked South Carolina, big challenge for the UK women's team. We'll talk about it and a lot of good things in last night's game in Rupp. The free throws and the play of Isaiah Briscoe. Sports is next. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 98 1 The Bull. These crispy strips have the proportion of breading to chicken just right. Just right. That reminds me of my favorite work of literature, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. What do you like about that book so much? Oh, the pl the plot. Yeah. What about the plot? You oh, it felt so plotty. I felt like the plot that was there, you yeah. know, and, the and then it thickened. So, who is your favorite character? Oh, probably Robert. Moral of the story: New lightly breaded crispy strips are just right. This is how you Sonic. 98.1 The Bull and Hardy's presents the Red, White, and Boom Music Festival 2016. Starring Jason Aldean, Country. Eric Church, 
Florida Georgia Line, Thomas Red, Cole Swindell, Casey Musgraves, and many more. Powered by the Lexington Clinic. Labor Day weekend, September 2nd through the 4th at the Whitaker Bank Ballpark, Lexington. Tickets on sale this Friday. Redwhiteandboom.com. Friday's Mega Millions jackpot is $22 million. Now, here's another look at tonight's Powerball numbers. need a reason to start celebrating Super Bowl 50 early? I'll give you two. Get a large one topping pizza for only 50 cents when you order any large pizza at regular menu price. Better ingredients. Better pizza. Better football. PapaJohns.com. I need to collect your phone so you can't post pictures. How does it feel to not be connected? My chest hurts. Let me show you a better way to keep connected. The 2016 oh. Chevy Cruze offers built-in 4G LTE Wi-Fi that connects up to seven devices. Current qualified GM lessees can get a sign-and-drive lease on this well-equipped Cruze Limited for around $179 a month. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. Stepped off a walkboard by accident, landed on my wrist, and shattered it. This was an on-the-job accident. It's really hard to talk about because it, it it was one of those things that ended my career. Becker Law Office needed to make sure my financial security was taken care of, and that's what they did. That's exactly what they did. Call the Becker Law Office. Just dial threes. Getting to the top is always a challenge. However, if you drive the award-winning Jeep Grand Cherokee or the versatile Jeep Cherokee, you'll realize the top is just the beginning. One drive and you'll discover why the Jeep brand continues to be the best-selling SUV brand. During the auto show, returning FCA lessees get $6,000 total cash allowance on the purchase of the 2016 Jeep Cherokee Latitude. If you need a reason to start celebrating Super Bowl 50 early, I'll give you two. Get a large one topping pizza for only 50 cents when you order any large pizza at regular menu price. Better ingredients. Better pizza. Better football. PapaJohns.com. The Cats had to hang on at the end last night to beat Mississippi State, but they have now won 30 straight. 30 in a row in Rupp Arena. John Calipari getting great play from his backcourt. He needed it. Isaiah Briscoe played well at Alabama. He played well again last night, scoring 14 points. He hit seven of nine shots. Briscoe said Cal is putting him in better position. Oh, yeah, and, and that's another thing with Coach. You know, he talked about putting me in more pick and rolls and just having the ball in my hands a little bit more. And I feel comfortable with the ball in my hands. So, I mean, I'm just... Now I feel like I'm back in high school. I got to figure out where he's most comfortable playing. Like today, I put him under the basket. You know what? He's really comfortable under there. Uh, uh, Alabama, we put him in pick and rolls, and he had flashbacks to playing AAU basketball, and he made shots. So there are things, if you expect him to be a spot-up shooter, spread the defense, you, why am I doing that to him? That's not who he is. Free throws were really big last night with the Cats up by three. 35 seconds left. Tyler Eulis made that one. And then the second shot kicked in to make it a five point lead. Um, it just tells us that there is a God, you know. <laughs> Neither one of them should have went in, but, you know, they dropped luckily. I'm surprised it, yeah. I mean, I thought I was going to make both of them, but, you know, I was surprised it went in after a spin like that. Now Alex Poitras also hit two big foul shots with 19 seconds left. But over the course of the game, Calipari was expecting more out of his junior forward, who finished with six points and eight rebounds. I thought Alex made the free throws down the stretch on a lot of courage. And there was things that he did. But in the guts of that game, he was not a factor. And not when you're that good, you need to be a factor. And Jamal Murray and Tyler Eulis are on the midseason watch list for the Wooden Award. They are two of 25 players. Murray averaging better than 17 points per game. Eulis, the Cats' floor general, he's averaging six assists per game and 14 points. 
On the road again this weekend, Saturday down to Auburn. It'll be a 4 o'clock tip-off on ESPN. The U.K. women back on the court tomorrow night. They will host number two South Carolina at the Coliseum. Matthew Mitchell says playing South Carolina is like going to the dentist for a root canal. It's going to be tough. Mitchell said today that despite his analogy, he likes playing the Gamecocks because his team will have to find a way to win. They're going to be uh, times in the game where it does not go well for us just because it's a great opponent and they're a great team and you have to find some way to try to prepare them to let it go and keep playing. And so it's uh, if we want to be one of the best teams in the country, this is a game we need to be in. And if we want to be one of the best teams in the country by the end of the year, we need to figure out how to function in a game like this. So this is why this is a great game for us tomorrow night. Second ranked South Carolina, number nine, Kentucky, seven o'clock at the Coliseum. If you can't make it out, you can watch it on the SEC network. There are four players enrolling early for UK football. Linebacker Cash Daniel out of Paintsville, quarterback Gunnar Hoke from Dublin, Ohio, and they are joined by wide receiver Dakota Holsclaw from Columbus, Ohio, and center Drake Jackson of Woodford County. They are all on campus and in school. And the Cleveland Browns have hired Bengals offensive coordinator Hugh Jackson as their new head man. He will be the team's eighth coach since 1999. Jackson has head coaching experience in the league with the Oakland Raiders. He's also good with quarterbacks. The Browns have the second pick in the draft. They will likely use it on a quarterback. Matt Jones on a Wildcat who's really lighting it up in the NBA. That's next. Now through January 14th, join Planet Fitness for just $10 down, $10 a month with no commitment. You get all this in any of our 1,000 plus clubs for just $10 down, $10 a month. Join by January 14th in club or online at planetfitness.com. This is Brett Melrose. With winter almost here, the experienced team at Fayette Heating and Air stands ready to serve you. Dedicated to keeping you and your family comfortable around the clock, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, with no additional overtime fees ever. Fayette Heating and Air, we're the biggest because we're the best, and we're here for you anytime, day or night. Call 233-0424. Fayette Heating and Air, complete home solutions. I can't believe this DQ five buck lunch comes with fries, drink, and a sundae. Can't believe it now comes with this KC barbecue burger. I can't believe Randy's barbecuing. Oh. oh! It's barbecue season at DQ with the new KC barbecue bacon cheeseburger five buck lunch. You need a breakfast built for work days, not weekdays. The chicken and gravy breakfast burrito from your DQ. A chicken strip plus eggs, cheese, and pepper gravy and a warm flour tortilla. Served with crispy hash browns and coffee. Just one of our delicious three buck breakfasts. Only at your DQ. If you've been injured on the job, do yourself and your family a favor. Visit ForThePeople.com to learn about all of your legal rights. Morgan & Morgan, For The People. At Baptist Health, we want you to know the facts. Visit BaptistHealthDocs.com to view a video of Dr. Molly Hauser on detecting and treating gestational diabetes. Baptist Health Lexington. Be a healthier you. Lottery's Keto, the exciting way to have fun every five minutes. Fueling imagination. Funding education. The world is a pretty big place. Yet somehow, we're all connected. Somehow the world is at our fingertips. Now, more than ever, in the stylish Toyota Corolla. With Entune audio, Bluetooth, and backup camera all standard. Corolla tunes into the rest of the world like no other car in its class. 
Now, lease a Corolla for $159 a month with $15.99 due at signing. Stay connected. Toyota, let's go places. Now through January 14th, join Planet Fitness for just $10 down, $10 a month with no commitment. You get all this in any of our 1,000 plus clubs for just $10 down, $10 a month. Join by January 14th in club or online at planetfitness.com. Get WKYT news and weather updates on Mix 94.5. I know most of us spend this time of year looking at college basketball, and we should because Kentucky has a good team again. But I want you at some point to turn on the NBA and watch our guy Carl Anthony Towns. Now, of course, you remember Carl last year. He helped lead Kentucky to the 38-1 season and had a great freshman campaign. But I have to admit, even I didn't see just how good he's been in the pros. Carl is putting up numbers that you just don't see rookies put up. He has a points, rebounds, and assist production that only two players in the last 40 years have done in his position, David Robinson and Shaquille O'Neal. And those guys went into the league after four years of college. He's coming after one year and is 19 years old. And I also think the future is bright for Carl in a different way. Not only does Kevin Durant think he's going to be a Hall of Famer, but he has another guy on his team who will also be a star in Andrew Wiggins, which means he can grow with another player and doesn't have to do everything himself, like Anthony Davis or Nerlens Noel. I think in three or four years, Carl Towns will be one of the five best players in the league, and we might look back and say he was Calipari's best player, something we never thought was possible. I'm Matt Jones, and this has been Overtime. Matt, thank you. In case you missed it earlier, here are the winning numbers for tonight's Powerball jackpot worth $1.5 billion. Now, we just received word that Kentucky Lottery officials said there were three tickets in Kentucky that matched the first five numbers, but not the Powerball. And there are also five winners of the $50,000 prize. And if one of you out there won a million dollars, they're urging you to sign the back of it and contact lottery officials after 8 o'clock. You probably won't get much sleep, but hey. Yep. A million dollars is a million dollars. And we should know where those winning tickets were sold come tomorrow morning. All of us are still here, yep. still working. We'll be back tomorrow we'll, we'll for you. We'll sleep well tonight. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.